On this detachment, we took DF4 out to test mode four and mode one wet runway and crosswind testing. Specifically for the wet runway, we wanted to test um, the anti-skid and directional testing. This was stability testing of the aircraft to make sure it didn't lose any stability at high speeds under heavy braking. We were also testing the anti-skid performance. Um, and this testing will allow the Marine Corps to deploy it as an all-weather fighter. We tested basically the, the whole range to allow us to give a very large clearance. Speeds range from 60, 70 knots all the way up to 120 knots and higher. At our most extreme uh, conditions with uh, heavy weight of the aircraft and full brake application, the aircraft performed extremely well. Uh, the pilot workload was uh, very low compared to legacy aircraft. Uh, we performed the crosswind landings mainly over our secondary base, which was China Lake. The, the majority of the testing was in uh, mode four, which is the short takeoff and landings. One of the unique things about being out at Edwards and China Lake is we were able to see a very wide band of, uh, of crosswind conditions. Um, one day we would see normal crosswinds of about 10 knots, which we see at PAX and then we would move out to extreme winds out to the 25, 30 knot range. The, the performance exceeded what we were expecting, the results that we were seeing in the control room. And again, the, uh, the debrief notes from the pilot, and at times he couldn't even realize the crosswind was there. Uh, with this aircraft, the pilots definitely commented on the, uh, the ease of the workload with this jet, which was really impressive. Uh, mode four, taking it down, uh, you're at a slower speed, so you're a little bit more susceptible to these crosswinds, but they really were very positive with their reactions to the uh, testing. Well, getting the jet to a state where we can actually pass it off to the warfighter and they can use it at an IOC state is very important. These are very real world conditions. The pilot is going to need to be able to bring that jet back and be able to perform a mission in any sort of condition, um, whether that's rain on the runway, um, heavy weather conditions, or we have uh, extreme crosswinds. The warfighter needs to be able to actually use that aircraft in a very effective way and be able to bring it back safely.